Here she comes. Ready. And they're off. Field Sint on their way. Wasp and Flying Dream both got good starts. Imperial Party and Tales of Mambo both go on to the attack and Tales of Mambo is the one in front. Second place, Imperial Party. Keep It Quick also loops runners on the outside and she went forward and went to the front. So Keep It Quick is the leader. The lead's changed a few times. Bella Lyke is racing at the outside of Tales of Mambo. Then Imperial Party followed by Flying Dream a length away to Wasp. Sim Ali Bank finds herself midfield with either Countess for company. The Grey is Bella Laika with Tangerine Lady and Spurwing Summer. Love conquers all and the lights of blue is towards the rear and Spectralite and Belinsky are the last two as they head down towards the 800 meters mark. It's Keep It Quick in the lead. Second place, Balalaika in the green. Then comes Tales of Mambo. Imperial Party's edging a little bit closer. So too is Love Conquers All. Further back to Flying Dream, who's along the far side. Wasp is a further length away. Sim Ali Bank is also trying to make a forward move in the green and yellow colors. About five lengths off the leader. Belinsky and either Countess, they next. It's Keep It Quick who's in front, but Tales of Mambo draws alongside. Flying Dream is into the open now in the white blinkers, and she begins to assert Sim Ali Bank is also picking them off quite nicely in between runners. Now Sim Ali Bank comes at them all and she strode into the lead. Second place is Flying Dream. Spurwing Summer. They followed further back by Love Conquers All. Flying Dream coming back at Sim Ali Bank. These two. Flying Dream has the nose in front and Flying Dream beats Sim Ali Bank. Spurwing Summer third. Tangerine Lady was fourth. It's taken Flying Dream 15 runs to win a maiden. It's taken her one run to win her second start. And her handicap debut is a successful one. She was given a good position by Craig Zaki. And uh, the moment they got to the 400, he switched off the heels of a number that were falling back. And Flying Dream had to fight hard to beat Sim Ali Bank, who's not thrown in the towel at all. But Flying Dream has won. Gary Alexander's yard is flying at the moment. Flying Dream gives them another one. Second went to Sim Ali Bank. Third goes the way of Spurwing Summer. Tangerine Lady, either Countess. Then came Wasp, just ahead of uh, Love Conquers All. Balalaika, Belinsky. Uh, that was pretty much the story in race number four. So the winners in the white blinkers already into the open. Uh, this owned by Greg Sadie, Marin Burzak, and also Mrs. Lowe. Uh, Flying Dream is the winner of race number four. She gets the better of Sim Ali Bank, who looked for all of King Midas' gold as if she was going to go on and put this race to bed. But that's not the case. Craig Zaki gets the source to deep, dig deep down and win race number four. Good win here by number six, Flying Dream, the daughter of A. Piero, Gary Alexander and Craig Zaki. The good draw, she's been running over further, dropped in distance today. And as Alistair said there, out of the maiden into her handicap, wins it straight away. Well done to all concerned. Second to number two, Sim Ali Bank. Uh, Gavin Rina made a good early winning move. Just found one better on the day, Erico Bird and Knees. Third spot going to number 15, Spurring Summer. Much better run there from the daughter of Jam Ali. And fourth going to number eight, and there's Tangerine Lady. Six, two, 15 and eight. That's how they run here at race four. And returning into the winner's area is number six, Flying Dream. Four-year-old filly by A.P. Arrow. Out of Bindela by Jalad. Another one for the Summerhill stud today. Of course, they bred the winner of race number three in the form of Pep Squad. Very well done to the connections. Greg Sadie, Myron Burzak, and Mrs. Lowe. Gary Alexander is in unbelievable form at the moment. He's the winning trainer. So well done to Gary and to Dean and the rest of the team. And Craig Zaki also really is riding at the top of his game. And he got Flying Dream to uh, see off the rather dangerous challenge of Sim Ali Bank. Result 6 2, 15, 8, and 10. Number six, Flying Dream, comes through to win the first leg of the jackpot for the Gary Alexander stable. Craig Zaki aboard this time. Now, Craig, she had the draw, but uh, this obviously being a bit sharp for her. You really had to earn your fee there. Uh, yes, uh, look, I uh, wasn't the strongest of fields. Uh, like you said, uh, she had the plum draw. 
uh, after Pellet Secret got scratched, I said she's in with the shots. And after uh, cancelled on, I was just super confident. I thought she went down really well. And I thought after that, uh, she was good enough to win. How's the heat out there? Is it a bit hot today? Yeah, very hot. <laughs> now. It's just exhausting. But uh, we used to it. We do it every day. And it's just something we have to work with. Yeah, well done. You're riding very well. You keep it up. Uh, thanks, love. Just a big thanks to the Alexanders once again. I mean, they've been very good to me this year. And just great training feet from them. Before you go, please, Chili Con Carne coming up in the next. You did ride him after that uh, when they come back from the gelding. Uh, must have given you a fantastic feel. Yeah, I did. Uh, not a lot of horses can be t between 10 and 15 lengths off at the four, 500. And to fly like that um, means there is ability. And uh, I like him today. I thought he was my best shot. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well done to Craig Zaki, and well done to you, Gary. Uh, dropping back down in trip here today, uh, you, only, you and your brother have only come here for the two horses. You've got the winner. Yeah, uh, you know, at the maidens, it's always very hard with these fillies. Uh, and, you know, we, once, we got a, once we cracked a draw with her over the mile, we took our chances. Yeah, well done to you. And uh, Dean uh, must be rewarding because you come all the way out here for two horses and uh, you really want to go home with a winner or a place at least. Yeah, it's a long drive back, <laughs> especially with Dean. But uh, <laughs> what can I say? Craig rode a very good race and uh, yeah, it's kicking on lovely. So we can't complain. And uh, thank, I want to thank our sponsors, Odyssey Steel and Dish. And of course, um, just thank God for all the success we have in. Yeah, doing very well. Keep it up. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Lyle. Thanks so much to Gary and Dean. It is uh, number six, Flying Dream, out of that maiden, dropping in Trippier, and she comes through to win another good ride there from Craig Zaki, as we have come to expect. Six, two, fifteen, and eight. That is the numbers you need, huh, for the first leg of the jackpot.